Hello, tubers and fellow snackers. Welcome to our channel. Uh, I'm Rumble. Um, I am one part of Cat Snacks and Video Games. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the Xbox 360. Uh, this might not look like the 360 because this is the Xbox One X dashboard, or the newer ones have the same dashboard. Um, but the fact that I have my Xbox 360 hooked up to my Xbox One X through uh, the cable outlet, so to speak, the cable output. Um, and I um, actually launched my 360 through the One Guide app, uh, which you can still get, and you can still hook it up this way as well. Uh, it kind of helps with uh, uh, party chats. Um, since I don't have a headset on the 360 anymore, uh, this one is very helpful in just um, being able to chat with friends while I'm still gaming on, on an older console. So, uh, so let's check it out, shall we? See, that was incredibly seamless. Um, so I'm gonna take a look here. So I was thinking about many different ways to come in at um, different topics on this one because I didn't want it to be like a 360 FOMO video or um, or just what you're missing out on basically here. Um, I wanted more more or less showcase some of the stuff that I care about on the 360, uh, some of the things on my wish list uh, before the store closes, um, and some of the games I'm currently playing and have played in the past, uh, and some recommendations too. I'm sure there will be a ton of that. Um, but first, I thought instead of rummaging through the, uh, <laughs> I should say the uh, failing store, I mean, they're closing it down, but, um, but I have a lot of issues going into the 360 marketplace because if I spend too too long in there, um, it crashes on me quite a bit. It's almost like uh, you really have to go to the bathroom and then every bathroom you try to go to is closed for maintenance. So they just kind of don't want you in there. Um, so I, I've found a, a better way to do it over time uh, just to kind of add things to uh, my pins so it's kind of the poor man's, excuse me, poor man's uh, wish list uh, on the 360. So if we check this out, and I kind of just went with a very user-friendly um, background here. I have downloaded a bunch of themes over the years, but um, a lot of them were very colorful and it's kind of hard to see when you're, you're trying to open different tabs. Um, so here's sort of where I've put my uh, most wanted items, at least the ones I haven't bought. I'll probably do a separate video on on the items that I have purchased and some of the games I have installed, because I think that's relevant as well to kind of show which ones are backwards compatible, which ones are not backwards compatible. Um, but as you can see here, the first thing we see is a bunch of worms. Uh, and I do think you can buy this physically. It's not super cheap. Um, but I know a few of these, you could buy a physical copy and you can get the DLC with it. Um, so the reason why it's still here is because I'm still on the fence about wanting to buy this um, since uh, the latest sale that was supposed to be the big blowout sale for Microsoft yesterday was sort of a disappointment. I think um, a lot of people agreed that uh, they were expecting a little bit more. Um, I think I think it probably has more down to ex it comes down to expectations. Um, I don't know if Microsoft really over promised to do a blowout sale. Um, I think it's been relatively, um, you know, good sales up until now. But I think everyone was hoping for more DLC sales and uh, a little bit more of the of the more expensive games that you know I'm sure people were trying to save money on because uh, the physical market now is just out of control so i think they're um they were probably hoping for that but i think with worms for me like worms goes way back for me on pc and i love i love the series i haven't played it as much as i would would have liked the last you know last 10 years or more um because i know there's been you know plenty of uh renditions of this series, you know, on, on 360, on uh, Xbox One, and even on Series X as well, but 
Um, I, I prefer to play this on PC, so maybe that's why I haven't really jumped into it. So, But I might check this out still. Um, not all of the games went on sale, though. I think uh, the ones that were uh, published by Microsoft, I'm going to check this one out. I think this one still is full price at $9.99. Nope. Okay, so this one is $4.99, so maybe it's not as expensive. Um, so I might pick this one up just because it was, I think, the first one that um, at least came out on the 360. And it is, um, I think this one is part of uh, part of the physical as well. Um, so, uh, so I'll probably check that out. Um, Masquerade, I think this also was uh, released on the Xbox One. Um, I believe that's a 9.99 uh, action adventure game. I uh, don't know much else about it. I think I added this a very long time ago uh, in hopes that it would go on sale, but I don't think I ever see, saw it go on sale. Uh, let me just double check. I think it is 9.99. So again, if this is a digital only release, I might pick it up as well. Uh, and then just kind of check out. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a struggle to load things on this old console now at this point, but um, I think um, I think that uh, I'll check back on that one later. Uh, Fez, also I think a classic. I, I don't, I have not played this one, but I've heard lots of good things about it. Uh, platformer, um, which I do, I do like my platformers, and the 360 actually had a good amount of uh, platformers um, that. They weren't too expensive either, I would say. So $9.99 for this one. So, you know, again, another one I think um, I was hoping would go on sale. Uh, so far it has not. Um, but I think this was actually published by Microsoft as well. But can't confirm that right now. But yeah, it's one of those um, indie games that are well, well received and um, people speak very highly of it. Um, there's a couple of games here. I think this is the same developer here because it looks like the same artwork. Um, I've also heard good things about these. I was hoping they would go on sale alongside the rest of the Microsoft published 360 games, uh, digital only. Um, I think they're either hack and slash or like beat em up type games. Um, so yeah, again, just one of those. I um, think they're all $9.99. Let me just double check. Yeah, $9.99. So it, it's still a decent price, I would say, for these. Uh, I might pick them up just because they are. That's the only way you can get them. So, um, and they look like pretty good games. Uh, next here, I see <laughs> I South Park. I mean, I, I'm a huge fan of South Park. So I think uh, getting these games is probably not a bad idea. Um, I know that uh, one is a platformer and the other one is... Kind of like a tower defense, which I don't really play a whole lot of tower defense, but um, again, it's one of those. It's either four ninety nine or nine ninety nine, uh, not terribly expensive, but again, you know, games I wish were you know ninety nine cents or you know even fifty percent off would be great. Um, so here's to hoping that Microsoft will will uh, still have a blowout sale before the end of the month. Um, uh, we'll see uh, see if they do anything about that. Uh, Duke Nukem, uh, I, you know, just I think this is just a port. Uh, they used to do a lot of ports from older gens to to, to the 360. Once they have the arcade marketplace um, um, or arcade games on the marketplace, and it was a good way to just be able to play older titles like this. And I believe this is just the way I remember it on PC uh, when I was. Had my 90s, 90s run with uh, Doom and Wolfenstein and Duke Nukem. It was, uh, it was a good time. So uh, 9.99 again for you know nostalgia, right? You're paying for nostalgia at this point. So all right, a bunch of Lego games. Um, I'd say unless you really, really want to get Lego games digitally, you can find these usually for five to ten dollars uh physically they're all pretty inexpensive still and um I, yeah I, I probably won't be getting these uh since i have i think at this point a couple months ago i was um 
going on this Lego uh, <laughs> Lego collecting phase, uh, whatever you want to call it. And I got all the Lego games on the 360. I kind of kind of ignored them for a long time, and I think with the marketplace shutting down, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go and get them all. And if I play them, cool. If not, I at least I have them physically uh, in the collection. So yeah. so I would probably say you can skip these, but uh, you know, uh, to each their own. Uh, this is kind of a funny one here because this has already been uh, delisted. Um, so I uh, I added this to the pins or my you know poor man's wish list, like I said, and I just can't I can't get rid of it anymore. But uh, Persona Persona Four Arena Ultimax is no longer available, but you can still get this physically, uh, just just not the DLC. So if you wanted to have a full completion, uh, you would have had to buy this uh, before before they removed it from um, from the store. So yeah, this is no longer available, unfortunately. So, But you can still play the game physically um, if you can find it. Um, and here's more going into DLC. I kind of mixed the match. You can't really sort this really well, uh, but I took um, whatever games I needed DLC for and Blaz Blue, Blaze Blue, I'm not even sure how to, how to properly pronounce it, but uh, but this game has characters, character packs uh, that you can buy if you want the full completion um, for all the achievements and, uh, and everything. So a um, little bit pricey. I think they're like six ninety nine. Um, I don't typically love spending uh, seven dollars on just a character. Uh, kind of would like to have at least some story DLC or something like that, but. Uh, we'll see if I even pick this up. Um, I'll have to make uh, <laughs> final decisions on the last week or something like that. So, but this would probably be the last thing uh, I'll get. Um, here's kind of a weird one with um, Ninja Gaiden. Uh, it does have DLC packs. Uh, I believe it also has like an online pass. Uh, Koei Tecmo did this weird thing around this time and did it to Dead or Alive as well. Um, they did this weird thing where every game required a specific online pass. It's kind of similar to like a, uh, a key that you would register on your a PC back in the day. Now, I'm not even sure if they do that anymore, but, uh, but it was similar to that. And it's just, um, yeah, so you need different DLC packs. You need like an online pass. I think there's co-op in this one too. And, um, I could be wrong about this one. There's a, there's a few Ninja Gaiden games that uh, have co-op, I think. But um, but I think this one has a couple of Ninja packs here that I still have yet to figure out which one I need. So I just kind of added added whatever I thought I would be needing uh, here. So um, another one too that you can get on the Xbox One Dragon Age uh, Inquisition. It didn't have a full. It had a full game release. You can get this uh, physically as well, uh, but they didn't have a full DLC release on the 360. But uh, there was one uh, that made it over, um, and that's uh, this one right here. It's 14.99, so it's pretty pricey. Um, and considering I'm not I'm not a huge fan of Dragon Age, I've I've um, I've tried all three. Um, this is probably the one I like the most, which fans of Dragon Age would probably say this is the this is not the best one but uh, you know again if I'm not a fan of the series then maybe I'll I'll like the one that's more accessible to the broader audience and, and stuff like that so but um, overall this is probably one I'm gonna pass on but at least if anyone sees my video here you know you'll know that it exists if you ever were interested in getting this in the next couple of weeks um, uh, otherwise, yeah, you can get this um, pretty cheap on the Xbox One, um, or newer consoles, I should say. Um, uh, and these two, I do own Fist of the North Star uh, physically. Again, pretty pricey. Um, it's actually up there, um, digital price as well. It's, it's certainly not cheap. Uh, $29.99 for the first one here. And... Uh, I think this one is like full price, like fifty nine ninety nine, and I think I may have mentioned that earlier. I was hoping Koei Tecmo would have a, a sale um, because there's a lot of a lot of decent games on on the marketplace here that 
uh, are pretty expensive if you want to get um, a physical copy. Uh, yeah, it's $49.99. So um, I was pretty lucky with this one. Uh, this one is the harder one to find uh, of the two. Um, but still, I I had to go to a different country to find <laughs> to find the first one. So I don't know how easy the first one is to find either. Uh, but it's a shame if this is going to go out. Uh, marketplace is going to shut down and then they weren't able to reduce the price on this one but um but yeah you're gonna probably look at 60 plus dollars for this one physically um so that's it's a bit of a tough decision to make if you really want to have this game but um i think it's again just kind of like a uh, dynasty warriors beat em up um i've only played a little bit of it but it seems interesting i'm not I'm not a huge fan of um kind of the large battle battle arenas and stuff like that but i think it looks like this one is a little bit more linear than that street fighter these were on sale i know that for a fact um i've been a huge fan of street fighter since since the very first one uh i have not played these ones uh, but for a dollar 49 it's probably not a bad idea to pick these up if you like fighters uh, same thing with this one. I think this one's even um, even cheaper. Yep, 99 cents for this one. So um, I think both of them actually have uh, multiplayer. And, uh, and yeah, find a friend to play some old school Street Fighter. Uh, can't go wrong there. Uh, Bastion. I have not played this one. I remember when this came out, people were raving about this one, and um, $14.99, I think, again, another game I was hoping would be on sale, but it is uh, It is not uh, $14.99. I'm trying to remember if this was released on the Xbox One. It is quite possible, but um, if it wasn't, then $14.99. You know, it's, it's a good arcade game. It looks like it's kind of a top-down... Diablo style uh, game, uh, which I know for some, uh, I know, uh, know a lot of people like those type of games. Next up, we have Bubble Bobble Neo. I was a huge fan of Bubble Bobble on the NES. Uh, played the crap out of this, um, and I've heard good things about this game as well. And it looks like. It has up to four-player co-op here, um, so I definitely should get this one. And I know 9.99 is hoping for at least 50% on this one, but I think that's a good good price, and I will most likely play this one. I mean, again with the nostalgia, right? So we have <laughs> we have this, and I mean, it's such a good game, such good memories, and I hope this one is just as good. Maybe even better. Well, let's go back here. Uh, Dark Stalkers. I know that one's on sale. Uh, currently, fighting game as well. I uh, I've seen some gameplay here. Dollar forty nine. I might pick this one up. It's not too bad of a price. Uh, uh, so yeah, if you're into fighters like I am, then uh, this is. Uh, I've heard good things uh, about it. And there is a physical release too, but I. I think I've only seen that one in Japan. I have not seen that in North America or Europe, so um, so that might be a uh, Japanese uh, physical release only, uh, which again shouldn't be too expensive. But a dollar forty-nine is probably the way to go. Uh, Crash Mind over Mutant. I own the first one, and I see if I remember what it's called now. Crash of the Titans, I think it is. Um, this one is. A little bit pricey I would say $39.99 I would say the physical release is around the same uh, so if that's what you have to pay for this then I would say just buy the physical because um, can't really justify paying that much for a an old 360 game um, that yeah should have been on sale to be honest but um, but I had it here again hoping for hoping for it to show up on sale um, still fingers crossed uh, a couple more weeks, but um, I'll probably get the physical for that one. Um, take down Red Saber. Uh, must be some kind of first person, third person shooter. Uh, added this because it must be 
uh, digital only. Uh, this looks like a Rainbow Six or something. Uh, first glance here, but uh, fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, who knows? I, I mean, I'll I'll probably do another review and see if see what type of game this is. Is it multiplayer? Um, looks like it does have multiplayer online here, which a lot of shooters on the 360 had that, and it's kind of funny to look back on even the games that went on sale. A ton of them still have that one or two required achievements online because that was that must have been something Microsoft told them to do. I, I'm not sure, but it seemed like everyone had that token one or two um, ad online achievements that were required, and um, not great. Not not a great decision because it it kind of forces you to play something when you just maybe want to play co-op or or just single player, and then they just kind of added. Um, online stuff to it, but either way, that's uh, we're not here to talk about multiplayer achievements. So we're uh, here to talk about games on my wish list and uh, stuff on sale. Um, so Alien Breed, I know this one has a physical, uh, not in North America to my knowledge, but um, there is one in Europe that I've seen, which I really want. Um, but if I can't get it, I think all of these games are um, it's like a trilogy. I think they're all $4.99, very inexpensive, uh, and I've heard good things about these. Um, and I, I've known about them for the longest time, I just never never really picked them up, and I saw that they were actually very cheap, then, um, you know, it'll be $15 for all three, but um, if they're going to be good, like, top-down shooters, and I do play those from time to time, and... Uh, and this one looks uh, looks pretty entertaining, so I'll probably I'll probably get this one. Uh, Blackwater, um, I believe this is a on rails. You can get this physical too. I don't think it's too too expensive. Uh, Nineteen ninety nine, probably better to get this uh, physically than to spend twenty dollars on a below average on rail shooter, uh, from what I've heard at least. And uh, that doesn't even include the connect. I don't know how much worse it is with the connect. Um, I think that was during the time where Microsoft was trying to suggest the Kinect rather than force the Kinect. Um, and I, I think I tried in a couple of games and it just wasn't necessary. You know, it's one of those, you buy the game and um, you don't want to add anything extra, extra work onto it um, to get something to work if you just want to play the game. Um, but yeah, I think that was one of the, one of the games. Uh, they did that too. Uh... I mean, I have good memories of, of uh, seeing it, the box office smash. Uh, I played this with my family. Uh, I think these are fun, fun games. I don't currently own the little remotes or like, uh, I don't remember what they're called now, but um, the ones you choose your answer. Um, I also think you can find that this is, you would find this at every Goodwill or every kind of thrift store. Like <laughs> these are everywhere, I feel. Um, but I just never picked it up, but I think I'll have to do um, do that uh, someday now. Because um, they're fun to play. I think they're uh, entertaining. There's an arcade one here, which um, I'm curious how this one works. I don't know if you need the little remotes for that too, or um, if you just purely play it with your controller. Um, but I'll probably end up picking this one up if it's something I can play with my family and, and have a good time. $9.99, not loving that, but... It was like two dollars, maybe. Um, more DLC for the Connect. Uh, looks like this is Once Upon a Monster, which I <laughs> I do own this one, and this is Double Fine, which I'm a I'm a big fan of Double Fine games, um, the Tim Schafer games in particular from the '90s. Uh, I'd mentioned the the Doom and the Duke Nukem Wolfenstein. I was just as much into uh, point and click games back then too. That's kind of what I played. Uh, alongside the the shooters and stuff so um but i have not played this one um actually disclaimer i've never played a connect game uh properly so i'll have to try that too but i did add a bunch of connect stuff on here just in case um okay so we have res uh, this one is an older one, older title. I think this was a PlayStation 2 
possibly even original Xbox. Uh, I definitely know it was on PlayStation 2. Uh, $9.99. I mean, you're almost like, unless you really want to play it on here, you can probably get it on the older consoles. But, um, but yeah, another Microsoft published game, it looks like. More Connect DLC for the Gunstringer, which uh, I've heard great things about this game. Um, I did buy that a couple months back, uh, just again with my Lego collecting phase, I decided to pick up a couple of uh, Kinect games as well, and the Gunstringer was one of them, and I happened to get like an unused code of uh, Fruit Ninja, so if you, if you ever look out, if you ever look for this game, um, you know, take a chance on it. If there is a code inside for Fruit Ninja, you might get a, you might get a free game in there like I did, so... Uh, so that was uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, Bullet Soul. So this one has a release in Japan. Uh, kind of a different, even a different achievement list, if I remember correctly. Um, very expensive. Um, for some reason, on the global marketplace, this is like ten dollars or something like that. So highly recommend picking this up because this is kind of. I don't even know why I'm careful to use hidden gems, but um, I don't know if a lot of people have talked about Bullet Soul. Uh, I talk a lot about Bullet Witch, but uh, not a whole lot about Bullet Soul. Uh, another another shooter, uh, like I mentioned, like the cave shooter type. Um, and um, yeah, for $10, I think both games $10. And again, one of those, um, when I was in Japan, I saw this in glass cabinets for yeah, again, two hundred dollars maybe, a uh, physical. So um, definitely uh, pick this one up. It is, if I remember, uh, backwards compatible. So you should be able to get this on the Xbox uh, Series X, um, Xbox One. Um, I know it doesn't say that here, but um, if you want, you can buy it here, obviously. But the the price is going to be the same. But I definitely definitely recommend these two: Bullet Soul Infinite Burst because uh, they are very expensive uh, physical copies if you want want it that way um, which is which is kind of strange you know you're thinking you can get a game for ten dollars and then you know someone sells it for two hundred dollars and you just okay I'm willing to take the hit on this technically don't own it if I buy a, a digital copy of it but you still get to play it you know I think that's the the sad part about uh, how the market is today is that you don't even get to play a game because it's too expensive to buy and um, ultimately as a collector as a gamer I want to play the games I don't want to get into a bidding war and all that stuff with other people on driving the prices up on something that should be fun and not uh, not stressful so either way um, here's more of the some of the more mainstream games you know, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 which I'm pretty sure most people didn't even know uh, existed on uh, on the 360. Um, it was a stripped down version with um, with pretty much just multiplayer and zombies. Um, I have not played this one or, or even the Xbox One version yet, but at least the Xbox One version has a campaign uh, that you can play. But this one is purely zombies and multiplayer and takes far longer to complete as well. Um, and you need a good group of people to play with because I highly doubt anyone plays this legitimately um, but if you wanted to jump in there same thing with Destiny um, um, newer you know Destiny 2 and uh, I don't think anyone really plays Destiny on the on the Xbox 360 anymore but again I could be wrong I have not played these two but I added them here as um, uh, since they have DLC and uh, collections that you can buy for still a pretty hefty price. I don't think these have been on sale, go on sale very often. Yeah, so you can get this one for twenty nine ninety nine, and I think if you want the bundle with uh, the game for Black Ops Three, it is forty nine ninety nine. But then you get all the DLC, so definitely not, definitely not cheap. So um, it might be better to just skip this one. And just get the Xbox One version, to be honest. Um, uh, this is this was one I was hoping would go on sale by Microsoft because I think this is a collection of four games that um, Microsoft published. I'm trying to see if uh, yeah, so it's the Maw, Splosion Man, Comic Jumper, and Miss Splosion Man. Um, 
And I do think all of these are backwards compatible, so... But you cannot buy this particular bundle on the newer consoles. It doesn't show up in the store. I try to search for it. Uh, it does not exist. So if you come across this one um, in the 360 marketplace, it might be worth looking at it because price per game is $9.99. So if you don't own any of these, um, you actually save about $10 on one game. So uh, so you'll get four games for $30. Um, I, I might get this one. Um, I think I own a few of them on like Xbox um, compilation discs or something like that, but uh, but there's definitely um, definitely some value in this one, and um, like I said, it does not show up on the Xbox One marketplace uh, like you would expect it to. But um, this one's pretty cool. Uh, there's a couple of uh, Xeno Clash games. Um, I feel like my wife told me about these, but uh, they look pretty interesting again due to them being I can't tell if this is a fighter I think it's like a first person brawler fist fighting or something like that um, but yeah definitely looks interesting I, I might I might pull the trigger on this one um, and uh, 9.99 I think this one is Atlas and I don't know if both of them are published by Atlas but you can almost guarantee if there's a physical release of these two, it would probably be $100 uh, on eBay um, because it's Atlas. But um, but yeah, $14.99, so the second one is a little bit more expensive. Um, yeah, so it says publisher Atlas on this one too. So it's, um, yeah, I might pick these up just because they were recommended to me. Um, don't play a lot of first-person brawler type games um, or hack and slash or whatever this is, but um, but it looks cool, so I might pick them up. Uh, Zoo Tycoon. I'm not sure why I put this on here. I, I own this. I own this um, on disc, so um, I may maybe I was hoping for a Microsoft publisher sale, and maybe this was like 99 cents, and I would just pick it up and uh, but. Looks like this is full price. I will probably skip that one. Uh, they're they're pretty fun games. I mean, I don't, I don't like scooping up uh, animal crap all day, but you know, it's uh, it, it's it's you know, I played a little bit on the Xbox One, and uh, this is the type of game management uh, game that I would play. Uh, same thing with like the Jurassic Park. You know, I, I like those types. I like the zoo type games and the and the dinosaurs and stuff. So. Uh, but again, I don't play a lot of management games either. Um, it's just it's just one of those like you have to babysit too many things for me, and I uh, I don't know. I, I understand why people like them, but it stresses me out when things die and um, and they get sick, and uh, you know I don't know. It, it's just it's too much to handle, and uh, you know houses on fire. And I played Sim City back in the, back in the day, but I'm pretty sure half the city burnt down, and I didn't know what to do. So I. Um, yeah, I uh, kind of moved away from those types of games. But, but they're good, though. I, I will say they're still good games. Uh, I, looks like I added a Fable game here. Um, digital only. Don't know much about this. Probably like a bunch of mini games. It looks pub games. Um, probably nothing like the actual Fable games. Um, but this may have been... A mini game inside one of the games that I forgot about, and they made a full game or a, I should say an arcade game out of this. Um, but yeah, I just added it again, hoping for a Microsoft sale, and it doesn't look like that happened. Um, so I'll have to see if I even care enough to get that one. But I, I do like the Fable games, um, and I have played uh, played all of them. Yeah, still working on Fable Anniversary, but but they're fun games. And then I went on a little bit of a. <laughs> A connect a thing here again. It looks like Free Fall Racers, Diabolical Pitch, and Haunt. Um, so if they're arcade connect, uh, you can't get these physically, so this is the only way you can buy them. Um, again, another decision I would have to make. I think um, if, you're, if you're very much into connect, I'm sure you will already pick these up, but uh, I know very little about it. I just did some research and looked at all the arcade connect games that looked remotely interesting and um, I think I landed on a few uh, Haunted House I don't think that's a Kinect game but it somehow 
squished itself in here with the connect ones. Um, there's home run stars, uh, lead me's, which is on sale currently. And I heard some good things about this. So some people have called it like the only good arcade, um, excuse me, the only good connect game. Um, so it's currently 249. Uh, so I might pick this up. Uh, it looks like you're literally using your body to create a path for these little lemmings type uh, type characters here. So uh, this might be fun. You know, I don't know if it's a good workout. Might be like a Pilates workout, and you just kind of do some moves, some yoga um, to create a path. So, so there you go. So it's 249. That seems like a good deal. At least Konami did a sale, so that's good. Konami and I can't remember who else, now Capcom uh, did a very good sale actually, so it's good to see that some of the companies uh, came through uh, during this um, time of closure, I should say. Uh, yeah, this, <laughs> I'm laughing already, but this one seems very random, um, it's like a Snoop Dogg game. Um, I feel like I just had to add it to my uh, wish list due to the fact that it was Snoop Dogg um, and, and I'm gonna guess this is a fighting game with some, I don't know, button prompts and I have no clue. I mean, this looks like it was, uh, not made out of necessity, but out of boredom or something. And they're like, hey, let's, let's, uh, release this game. That uh, seems like a good idea because, uh, I think Snoop Dogg is probably a gamer, but again, no clue. As drug reference, no surprise, um, language and violence, so, yeah, I don't know, I, I would have to look up some gameplay on this one before I even commit to it, but, um, I think I wanted to just add it because of, because of who it was and, and just curiosity, I guess. Um, uh, Wick and the Fable of Souls, uh, I did recently buy a, I'm trying to remember that, it's one of the Xbox Live Arcade, um, compilations that have this on there so I probably will skip on this um, I think it is $9.99 so uh, if you can find that um, Xbox Live unplugged or one of those uh, this game is on there so you probably don't have to buy buy this um, uh, a digital copy of it uh, more connect here arcade connect racketeer looks like this has DLC uh, so that if that fancy if you fancy any of that kind of stuff, you know, just know that it has DLC. Um, Rise of Nightmares, also heard good things about this one. Um, just when I was saying that uh, the Lead Me's was uh, one of the only good uh, uh, Kinect games, uh, this is supposedly one of the better ones as well, and in, in terms of at least a horror game. And uh, I don't know if it's um, similar to House of the Dead or. Um, See here if it loads. That's yeah, hard to tell. I mean, po probably. I mean, this looks like kind of a House of the Dead type of uh, game. So, um, but you can get this for far cheaper physically. I don't think you have to pay fourteen ninety nine for this. I think you can get this for like five dollars, like like most of the Connect games these days. Um, I don't know what the conversion rate would be in other countries, but I'm sure it's not any any higher really than that. Um, so five to ten dollars for Connect games seems about right, and a lot of them you can find brand new. I've I've come across that in stores too, where they just have them out, and there's a bunch of sealed Connect uh, games because no one no one bought them. So uh, Rock of Ages, uh, I've heard things about this. I'm not sure what type of game this is, but it's another Atlas game. Uh, so it's either you're a rock or you play rock. It looks like you are a rock. Um, but again, not sure, not sure what type of game this is. Uh, rock rolling action. So this is like a Katamari type game, maybe? Don't know, but 9 dollars doesn't seem too bad, so it looks like it is backwards compatible. So don't have to rush to buy this one. Um, if it's still available in the Xbox, uh, the newer Xbox store. Uh, Abyss Odyssey, no clue. It might have been something that was recommended and I just added it. Um, Fable Heroes, another another Microsoft published Fable game. Um, just like the pub games, I think I just wanted to 
add all of them so that if they did go on sale, I would have it ready to, to buy. Um, I want to see what type of game this is because I already forgot. So this looks like a... Let's guess it's kind of like a uh, Castle Crashers type of game, most likely. We have uh, four people, four player co-op, and I'm sure there's online stuff here too. Uh, online and local, yeah. So it's like a brawler, hack and slash, beat em up type of thing. So yeah, might be fun if you have a co-op partner to play that with, but I've never played it, but yeah. Fatal Inertia. No clue why this game went up in price the last couple of months. This uh, is beyond me. I've passed up on this game a hundred times. I, I don't own this physically because I never thought this looked like a good game. Um, but I, I think I was hoping, again, for a sale on this one for like maybe $10 or less. And I would get it. I'm still on the fence if I want to get it for $19.99 because I'm certainly not comfortable paying the price that people are asking for this. Um, I think when I remember seeing it in game stores, it was like $7, $8. It's really not more than that. I would not pay hundred, hundreds of dollars for this game. Um, no one ever talked about this. I didn't even know it was a racing game. I, I had no clue what this was until, um, until I saw some gameplay. And I mean, it looks okay, but uh, for the price, no. Uh, even for $19.99, it seems kind of high. So... Um, but again, I just added it, hoping hoping for a sale. Um, and then we get to, looks like, yeah, it's a good mix of everything. Um, and then here we have Bullet Witch. And I know Bullet Witch is one of the games that have been talked about a lot um, the last couple of months. Um, seemingly just people just pulling out games or they just had it show up at the door from eBay or Amazon or whatever. And... Um, yeah, so this is uh, this is a game uh, from 2007. Uh, I've had this in my collection for the longest time. Uh, it's still 19.99. It's not a bad price if you wanted to buy this. Um, if it's too expensive to buy uh, on eBay, then um, I would recommend at least if you wanted to check it out. Um, definitely mixed reviews on this one. Um, some people say I played a little bit of it because um, that's the problem most people haven't really played this game it's um, it is uh, a little bit clunky from what I've heard and um, it's trying people compare it to Bayonetta which it totally is not uh, maybe the character looks like Bayonetta but it's not a hack and slash it's just you're just carrying this huge gun around uh, and uh, <laughs> the aiming looks terrible like the camera is like way behind below the the main character and yeah, it looks uh looks awkward but um i plan on playing this there is um there's probably some entertainment to be had with this one too but um definitely not worth as much as um people are selling this one for uh under defeat this one i've heard i wonder if i actually played this one uh in the arcades because it looks very familiar people speak very highly of it um and it looks looks a lot of fun. Uh, I probably will pick this one up. I was hoping it would be on sale uh, during this time, but uh, $19.99. Again, I don't think we um, got a physical release of this in North America. I know Japan did, and I know Europe did. So, um, so for me at least, instead of overpaying for those um, uh, physical copies, I probably will pick this one up. Um, for $19.99 even if it doesn't go on sale. I think this uh, looks like the type of game I would play and um, it looks like uh, exploding fun. All right, more DLC for Kinect. This is Fantastic Pets. Um, I own a physical copy of this one, so I think that one is on sale though, but um, you might as well just buy a physical copy of this game because it's, like I said, between five and $10 and I think it's like $4.99 on sale. Uh, digital copies so uh, happy tree friends uh, trying to think why I, why I added this one $4.99 not too bad um, no clue looks like a, some sort of party game uh, it's like a kids game or uh, but yeah it looks looks weird um, I don't know who published this but uh, Sega it looks like okay so yeah, four ninety nine. I I might check it out. 
um, do some more research on this one, but I probably added it for a reason. Um, there's more Risen, which got, I guess, uh, abandoned by the other stuff I added on here. Uh, Skulls of the Shogun. This was recommended by my wife. Uh, I don't know if she has played it, uh, but it looks uh, cool artwork, top down, uh, probably hack and slash. I'm, uh, for fear of saying uh, Diablo style every time there's a top down, but um, but it looks like uh, kind of a hack and slash beat em up type of game probably. Action adventure strategy and simulation. Maybe it is a turn-based uh, strategy game, actually. So she tends to play those, so that makes sense. I mean, maybe I'll buy it for her. Who knows? It'd be a good gift, uh, parting gift from the store. Of uh, here you go. Here's skulls of the Shogun for you. Uh, so yeah. Uh, Dogfight 1942. This one is on sale. I, I added the DLC because I do not own the DLC yet, and. Um, you know, again, um, I like to have everything, if I'm going to play it, have it available. Um, but yeah, so that one is not on sale. Uh, Battle Fantasia. This was a fighting game. I, I do own this physically, which I know the price on this one has gone up quite a bit. This was like a $14.99 or $15 game I should say uh, physically for the longest time and then someone decided this was a rare game and uh, and to be fair it's it's not it's never been the easiest game to find um, but I was surprised that it was only 1999 here so you know if it's one of those games that uh, you fancy then um, 1999 is not a bad price I think they probably go for double or maybe triple at this point um, in other um, other media than this so um, so if you don't already own this one, uh, it might be worth checking it out. Um, I don't know how good this fighting game is, but um, I know it's made by, uh, I think it's Axis Games, uh, or Arc Systems, um, that make a lot of uh, good fighting games. So I'm sure it can't be too bad, but um, I have not played this one. So, But it looks, uh, I mean, the artwork is, is stunning. It's pretty, uh, pretty awesome. So, uh, Payday 2... Um, get this pretty cheap uh, physical copy of this one too if you have to uh, if you absolutely have to play it on the 360 um, you can find a, a cheap copy there um, otherwise I mean it's available on the Xbox One uh, I believe it's even on Game Pass still like the newer versions with DLC so you know honestly take your pick there is not um, I think this one probably would be a pass uh, under normal circumstances um, because uh, I, I think I even own a couple of copies of this and I didn't pay more than five dollars for them so um, yeah um, Space Marine sequel is coming out or it was announced at least and I think it's coming out sometime this year or next year uh, I've, I've I tried the demo on this uh, for this game um, I think you can even see it here it says like uh, you downloaded the demo there you go capture no Where's the demo? Downloadable content. Okay. Pretty sure I played the demo on this um, back in the day. So, um, the great, great demo. And um, I know a lot of people really like this game. It is my type of game um, with some shooting, some uh, melee combat, and uh, third person action. So, yeah, this one's definitely one I'm looking forward to playing. Um, I can't believe I haven't played it yet. So, this one is um it's getting up there in price physically i think and I, let me double check i totally missed what the price was i think it's i think it's uh oh, i have it installed so i can't check it but i think it's like 19.99 for this one too um so if you don't have this one definitely um definitely worth picking that one up all right final stretch i promise and if you've made it this far into my video thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it um, I love talking about video games and I've been collecting uh, for a long time now and probably have around a thousand Xbox 360 games uh, physically and I'd love to be able to talk about those and showcase those uh, on this channel someday so if you're interested in that kind of kind of thing uh, check back and you know like and subscribe 
Uh, we really do um, want people to comment as well if there's anything um, uh, anything cool that you'd like to see or um, so but yeah we really enjoy uh, talking about games and um, and I finally get to talk about the 360 so that's even better <laughs> even better for me so uh, but yeah let's uh, let's do the final 20 30 games that I have on my list here I think towards the end we'll um, we'll get to some of the more recent sales I do think I added those um, the ones that were on sale a couple of weeks ago um, and then in the in a part two or in a separate video I can go through some of the games that I did end up buying and uh, some of the like I mentioned in the beginning uh, some of the games I've been playing on the 360 lately and um, go through uh, some of that because um, I have some separate goals in mind so um, definitely check that out if you're uh, interested in that kind of thing uh, next up we have uh, Naval Assault uh, I saw this one in a game store recently and um, can't say that I'm a Naval Assault Naval game expert um, obviously I think uh, like most of us we played some Naval combat in Assassin's Creed or uh, whatever it is um, but I don't know much about this one uh, I know that the physical um, release of this one started going up in price. Uh, I think it's probably around the $20 mark, so $14.99. I guess if you're into this sort of game, um, there might be a good uh, good deal here. But um, you know, it is available physically, so you know, don't definitely don't have to buy uh, a digital um, copy of this one. Air Conflict Secret Wars. Um, I bought one of these recently, um, I think it was the Vietnam one, um, I saw it, it was either like seven, eight dollars or something like that. Uh, this one does look like it's on sale, um, but you can find this physically as well, uh, for under ten dollars I would say. If it's any higher than that then I would be surprised, but um, for $2.99 um, this might be something uh, worth buying. I know a lot of these... Um, different airplane shooters um, you know anytime you have these as separate games I, I tend not to play them because you play um, you play others you know even Grand Theft Auto would have um, would have you know flying and sometimes shooting there's cars right so you know there's so many games now open world games in particular um, that have these things you know just cause um, so I tend not to play these a whole lot um, due to that but I think 299 I mean it, it's it's a good price um, but you know the the physical copy is you should be able to get this for under ten dollars so um, alien Spidey uh, I think this is a pretty challenging platformer I've seen some people talk about that in other videos dollar uh, 49 um, if you are and I haven't talked too much about that you know but it, obviously with uh, the Xbox 360 comes, you know, achievements. If you're into that sort of thing, then uh, this one has a lot of unobtainable achievements. Um, so might put you off if um, even at dollar uh, forty nine. But again, it's uh, I heard the game is pretty challenging as well. Um, so I don't know if it's the controls or or uh, that uh, they just made it very difficult. But um, you know, looking at this, this is. A, type of game I would play. Uh, I like uh, challenging platformers and certainly don't have a problem with a challenge really in in any uh, any game that I play but if it's you know if the game starts being unfair to you or the controls are really bad that's uh, definitely a whole different uh, discussion you know if, um, if a game is just genuinely uh, uh, challenging that's um, that's one thing but if the controls are gonna ruin it then uh, you know might be something to consider that's uh, I have not played uh, Alien Spidey, but um, that's what I've heard at least. Uh, Cars. This one is on sale. Cars 3, I should say. Uh, I have played. I've only played one Cars game, and there's one thing I can say that they're not bad, but they're very repetitive. So you know, I I sort of feel that way about a lot of racing games that you get a different different uh, type of game each year, you know, whether it's Need for Speed or Forza, then, you know, the games are good, there's no denying it, but they do become very repetitive. Um, and for those reasons I mentioned earlier, 
you can play an open world game and you get just as much racing done and it's sort of optional what you want to do you know but in these games uh, racing is all there is to it um, but you know they're not bad games I think they're good for a kids game uh, racing game um, but I remember the first cars game was uh, was very repetitive in the end and um, yeah but you know I might still pick this up because you know I do like playing some racers from time to time and um, Pixar games Disney games and they're pretty pretty easy if you want to just uh, uh, not overthink uh, how to play it or how to complete these things so yeah uh, Skyrim uh, you can probably get <laughs> I don't even know if I need to click on it it is on sale but you can get this even the um, legendary edition um, with DLC for a pretty good price I, I'd be surprised if it's over 15 20 dollars um, because then I haven't exactly searched for this lately um, but it is like four dollars or five dollars on sale right now but um, this is the type of game that um, that I think uh, most people already own but again if uh, if you feel like uh, it's one of the 14 different versions they've released uh, time and time again then this one this one is still available before uh, before they um, delist it forever so so there's that uh, another Street Fighter game I talked about the other two earlier um, very similar here this is probably um, in the one dollar range as well yeah dollar forty nine um, and um, more of the same so this is Street Fighter gotta get the title right here Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD that's what it is yeah uh, just kinda every time I see these titles for the Street Fighter games that I just think of the uh, Dead Rising 3 um, DLC name which uh, <laughs> it's so long I can't even can't even remember it, but um, great DLC, and that's kind of future reference to a, uh, a game that I uh, highly recommend. Um, Tropico 3, this one is on sale. So see, that's kind of what I was saying um, at the start of this uh, section here, is that uh, we're getting to more of the games on sale uh, towards the end of this list, because you can't really sort the games very easily here. It's more you add it, you can move it to the front of the queue, but then you have to like slog your way back to the right and then try to find the games again. So um, yeah, um, use this if you have less items than I do, because uh, it gets pretty tough to uh, manage all of this. Um, but this is $1.49. I think this is also a, a maximum like a $6 game. Um, but if you, if you like this kind of management game, um, like I said earlier, I'm uh, not the biggest fan of of them uh, anymore, at least. Um, maybe it's the console thing. I don't like playing them on console. If I was still a PC gamer, I, um, I would probably play Tropico uh, and Zoo Tycoon, like I mentioned. But um, but dollar forty nine, it's a good price. I mean, um, definitely, if you have a hard time finding a physical copy, dollar uh, forty nine is is a great price. So. Uh, Dead Island, uh, Dead Island, and Dead Island Riptide. Uh, I think these are like super cheap, like ninety nine cents. Um, looks like they, I may have already bought these because it says play now. And um, uh, but this one, the first one, does have DLC. Uh, you can get that in the Game of the Year edition uh, physical copy. So, um, and I can't imagine them being too expensive either. So. Uh, for 99 cents, it's it's hard to pass up on for both of these. Um, you definitely can make that decision, and it's not a whole lot of regret going on with this uh, if you do buy these uh, for uh, for that low. So, uh, but just keep in mind that the first one uh, has DLC, second one does not have DLC uh, at all. But uh, what's cool about this too, and I played Dead Island a lot back when it came out, um, is that you can transfer progress from one game to the other, and it has like a um, uh, not a level cap, but similar to Borderlands, where you uh, can transfer some of your progress and um, and you can kind of continue from there and don't have to start from scratch to level all the way up. So, but you know these games are also available on newer consoles. So um, again, can't go wrong either way, to be honest. So, uh, but they're they're decent in co-op. They haven't aged that well, I will say, but they're uh, they're a good time in co-op if you can uh, find someone to play with. 
Well, let's see here. Uh, and there's a couple of games here that I, I've, I've actually played these. Um, and uh, so Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, that is a great game. Uh, also available on the Xbox One. And then they just re-released it now for the Series X. Uh, um, so I have not played that one. I have played this one and the Xbox One. I don't know how much of a remaster the new one is, but a uh, great game. Definitely recommend checking that one out. Um, interesting game mechanic too, because I, um, I seem to remember that you control both of the brothers with uh, each of the sticks um, on the controller. So um, it's very unusual, but... Um, it somehow works. It takes a little bit to get used to, but uh, it is a fun game and um, emotional game too. So, so really good. Uh, Deadlight also, you know, I, I wouldn't say underrated. I think a lot of people know about this game. There was a uh, um, director's cut for this on the Xbox One. I think this game is one of the best arcade games um, on the 360. Um, I definitely recommend it. Uh, so whether you play it there or on the Xbox One, either way. Um, I think they added some stuff to the director's cut, um, as that would imply. Um, so maybe it has more, more gameplay, or um, they could have even made it a little more difficult. But um, great platformer and um, and uh, like a platformer survival, right? It has zombies and stuff. So yeah, really good game. Uh, Siberia Two. Uh, I thought I owned this because I played it, and um, I couldn't quite figure out how I played this game. Um, and I can't re-download this game for some reason, so, um, but I know you can obviously get a physical copy of this and the first one uh, on the original Xbox, so, um, it's not the end of the world, but I played uh, Siberia 1 and 2, um, really like those, I mentioned that before too, I, I play point and click games, and, uh, this one was a little bit awkward on the console, I'm not gonna lie, I, I do prefer to play point and click on PC with a mouse and keyboard, um, but uh, these are still really good games, and um, you know you can at, you can at least buy this one. The first one was delisted for for some reason, um, and I'm I can't re-download it. Uh, this one you can still buy and download before um, it shuts down. But um, if you want real nostalgia, you know you can play it on PC or original Xbox too. So uh, okay, so Gun. Um, I'm not played Gun. I do own a physical copy of this. Uh, but it's been a game that has been talked about lately for whatever reason. Um, I have uh, I've heard very good things about it. Um, so this was um, I'm not sure if it was around the time of Red Dead Revolver, right? Um, right after that. Um, but that you know, to be fair, there aren't a lot of good Western games. You know, I can think of uh, you know, obviously Red Dead. Um, there's Call of Juarez, which is debatable if it's really a good game. I think uh, really the only good Call of War is, is probably Gunslinger, the arcade game, which I uh, highly recommend. Very good game. Um, but for this one, I, I'm looking forward to playing this. And $9.99, it probably goes for more um, online um, in the physical market, but um, I think $9.99 is probably a good, good deal uh, if you want to play this. And uh, from what I've heard, it's it's the best way to play it is on Xbox. Um, um, I don't. I don't even think PS3 got a release for this game, so definitely uh, worth picking this one up. Uh, I would say, if you have ten dollars to spare. So um, yeah. So we're getting to kind of the most recent sale now that Microsoft was uh, including in yesterday's um, yesterday's final sale. Um, and this was a sale that was, uh, it wasn't announced, but people caught on to it that things were um, put on sale from, uh, from Activision uh, Publishing at least. And uh, um, we'll get to uh, the remaining one most likely here. And the next one is uh, Blood Drive. Um, again, similar to um, the game I mentioned earlier, like Fatal Inertia, uh, another game that I just I saw in game stores always passed up on it because it looked like, like kind of like a b-movie or uh kind of a yeah low budget game um didn't seem too great i mean i have to admit now it looks kind of fun but you know it's uh, you're driving over zombies and get score but um but i don't know i mean 14.99 50 percent off i think this is right now um so um so yeah take your pick i think this one 
skyrocketed in price too, um, physically. So um, I did not pick it up, and I'm certainly not wanting to pay more than ten dollars for a game like this. The same as Fatal Inertia. This is probably like an eight dollar game at most. Um, but you know, again, uh, fourteen ninety nine. If that's all you got, then um, then it might be worth uh, getting it if you if you want to play it. Uh, prototype one and two. And I even had this bio bundle here, which um, I know that they released uh, a physical for this on the Xbox One, uh, which is also pretty expensive. Um, I think I just wanted to add this one to see if it would go on sale, but similar to that Twisted Pixel bundle that I showed earlier, um, it doesn't look like this one will. Um, so you're probably better off um, getting them separately if you don't own um, own them on disc. Uh, $39.99 is pretty steep for old games like this. And uh, I mean, I love Prototype 2. I think Prototype 2 is, is a great game. Um, I still have not finished Prototype 1 yet. Um, had a harder time getting into it for some reason where I think Prototype 2, uh, maybe I did it the wrong way. I played Prototype 2 first and then I went back to uh, uh, the first one. Um, but think um, it just was much easier to get into Prototype 2, I feel, and I like the story a lot more, too, so um, I definitely would, um, if you had to pick, I would, I would, you know, play Prototype 2 over 1, but, um, you know, for the story, there is a connection, so um, definitely not recommended to skip anything, but, um, but they're both on sale right now, and I have this one installed, because um, I'm actually currently trying to go back to this one and play it, um, as you can see here, I I've done very little, like 13 achievements here, but I'm trying to go back and, uh, and play it. Um, and then uh, I think it is five, I would say it's five ninety nine on sale right now, and uh, I think Prototype 2 is a little bit more. Um, I don't have this one installed though, but um, so it's eight ninety nine. So, uh, but you can get these, you can get these on disc much cheaper, I think. So. Um, can make that decision too. There's no DLC or anything you need uh, to play the game, so uh, you might as well just buy it physically um, if you can. Um, now here is a game that um, people have been talking about, surprisingly, um, uh, is, uh, is Singularity, and um, I do agree. I think this is a, and I love the fact that it shows the achievements here too. I mean, it's, uh, it's one of the things I do miss about about the 360, it's just more easily accessible that you can see your data and your history and stuff. I feel on the on the Xbox One and Series X, they're trying to hide these things, and um, I like going back and looking at these things. Um, but yeah, this this is um, you know again, I, I don't like to use hidden gem, underrated a whole lot. Um, because typically, games I feel like are rated as appropriately as they can get. You know, um, it just depends on what your opinion is of it and if you had a special memory to that game but um, I think this game was probably overlooked a little bit due to the fact that it came out around the time of a lot of other shooters and um, I think this was a time on the 360 where there was a lot of shooters a lot of first person shooters um, but this has a little bit you know something else going on with it with the time manipulation and uh, uh, the story and you can travel back in time and stuff like that. So really good game. I, I definitely do recommend it um, You can probably get um, this on disc cheaper than um, uh, $14.99 which is currently on sale for um, so I would I would look out for a disc I don't know if this has gone up in price at all um, but it's a it's a good uh, like five to seven hour campaign most likely um, but it's a good single-player campaign it has as multiplayer, which uh, obviously is um, <laughs> optional, uh, but it's one of those things that I think they added to make the game seem longer uh, than it is. But um, but yeah, uh, overall a good time, a good game. Uh, Far Cry 4. Uh, this one is on sale. Um, I don't know how playable this game is anymore, though, because with Ubisoft, it seems to be very inconsistent what they actually shut down and what is working. Um, it does have this uh, this particular um, version does have DLC just like um, the Xbox One version does, um, so you can get that at least. But 
think there's some workaround you have to do to make this game actually work on the 360 because when you uh, when you load it up these days it says that some services are not available and uh, you can't actually load it up so, um, so you might be uh, keep that in mind before you buy this but I think it is on sale right now for $5.99 or something like that which um, I can't imagine a physical copy being any more than that um, so again all you would need here is really the DLC and then you can get it on disc so um, LA Noir um, I think I added this one <laughs> I've played this one. I mean, this is a fantastic game. You can still um, you can still play this on uh, Xbox One, newer consoles, obviously, and, and other consoles too. But um, but this was a fantastic game, and I um, this one this particular version has DLC. Um, I think there is a physical version where you can get all the DLC on disc. Um, can't recall now what it's called, but it has like a weird slip cover fold out thing um, with all the discs and. I think that's why I added it to my wish list because um, I obviously can play it on the one, but if I ever wanted to go back and play it on the original console that I played it on, I, I was hoping maybe this would be on sale uh, for a couple of dollars so I wouldn't have to like pull out like four discs and because uh, I think uh, most people probably remember that um, yeah, 360 didn't go for the Blu-ray and uh, ended up being um, a whole lot more discs than uh, than you could hope for. Um, and especially for a game like this at the time, doing the motion capture and the face uh, capture with the expressions and um, interrogations, I mean, it was pretty uh, groundbreaking at the time. And um, again, you, you can play it on newer consoles and I highly recommend, uh, if you haven't played this, um, it's hard to think that uh, people haven't played Rockstar games because they usually get the most uh, publicity, I think. But um, this one's, I, I, I think L.A. Noir is still one of their better ones um, that I played. You know, I, I, I tend to go with like Red Dead and L.A. Noir over Grand Theft Auto. So uh, that's just my personal taste, though. So. Um, and I think this is the last, uh, possibly the last one here. Uh, last uh, couple. Um, Need for Speed. Uh, so there's two Need for Speed games that are on sale right now. It's uh, one of them is Need for Speed Most Wanted, um, and at the top of my head now I couldn't remember the other one, but it's uh, it's not Undercover. But um, there's two games, um, two Need for Speed games that are on sale for I think dollar ninety nine, two ninety nine. So um, so if you're into that, I, I used to love playing Need for Speed uh, back in the day um, on even on PC. Uh, I haven't played a ton of these on the 360, um, but I think I want to be prepared if I do want to play them. I'll probably end up getting um, the complete DLC bundle that's really alongside the sale that uh, is going on. But this is, uh, this is $29.99, so it's not cheap for DLC, which I know can be off-putting for some to pay that much for extra stuff that you seemingly don't need to even play the game. But um, if you are a completionist, if you do uh, care about achievements and stuff like that, then then uh, definitely want to consider picking this one up because it is a better deal than doing them separately. So, um, so I actually, I did extensive research on this one to make sure and probably save about seven to ten dollars on getting this one. But you know, it's it is you can buy another game for that on on this sale. So um, okay, finally at the end, so we have the last one here, which was uh, rudely interrupted by Need for Speed with uh, all the other Activision games here, but um, this is Legend of Spyro. To my knowledge, the only Spyro game that was released on um, on Xbox 360. Um, so Legend of Spyro, Dawn of the Dragon. Um, this one's consistently, if you want this on disc, I, I think even many, many years ago, I paid $50 for a uh, disc copy of this game and I don't think it's gone down one dollar since then I think it's consistently been fifty dollars or above um, so if you can find a physical copy great you know um, but expect to pay somewhere around there uh, if you're lucky you might get uh, a little bit lower than that if you want a complete copy but um, uh, but for $9.99 um, I think that's a good deal um, I've heard a lot of people say it's not a very good game but if you're offsetting that by $40 of buying a, a physical copy, then uh, you might want to consider this one because um, you definitely won't find it for $9.99 um, in the wild, as they say, uh, these days. So, 
So there you have it. That was my entire makeshift uh, wish list on the 360. Um, I don't know it was on the longer side. Um, I might I might edit this down to be more manageable or do separate parts for it. But um, uh, but either way, um, I had a I had a fun time going through all these games. Uh, we'll see what I actually end up with. Maybe I'll do another video after I actually sort out all of these games and see what I actually bought. Um, I'll make another video as well for. Uh, the games that I did buy so far uh, and some of the games I have installed um, and then I, I do want to go uh, back and um, as I mentioned earlier go back and look at my history uh, on the 360 and kind of look at some of the games I'm working on currently and, um, and some of the games I've done and uh, would recommend uh, you know to you all so so anyway, yeah, thank you for watching and if you made it this far uh, again, I appreciate it and uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, um, check out our other videos as well, um, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.